Throughout my career, I've worked with many CAD solutions and developed solid skills in the mechanical design area, which is why I participate in the design phase of our parts. Typically, once the 3D design of a part is completed, the next step is to proceed with the model-based definition. To do so, I have here a derived part where all the key design characteristics and manufacturing feedback will be defined. I know it's not common practice to add this specification to the same part, but we are exploring a new collaborative strategy. Now, using native tools, I will define the most critical dimensions along with their tolerances. Since this model-based definition represents the single source of truth, defining a control plan from the very beginning will save hours of work for my colleagues who are tasked with handling the manufacturing and the inspection of the part. Using the Polyworks PMI Plus Loop application, which I can access directly from my CAD software interface, I can enhance the native PMI by linking measurement objects to each characteristic. And just like that, the Polyworks measurement objects are added to the structure of the CAD file. And I can review the associated characteristics and assign them a digital unique identifier which is critical for traceability purposes. As you can see, it is a one-click operation that identifies all the selected characteristics almost instantly saving me a lot of clicks and a massive amount of time. Finally, saving the part with the PMI plus loop control plan embeds in a single CAD file the native PMI associated with measurement objects where each characteristic is uniquely identified, leaving no room for assumptions or personal interpretation downstream. Based on my experience with different manufacturing processes, I'm usually the one in contact with our suppliers when it's time to manufacture parts. I know that complementing the control plan with the specifications needed to feed the manufacturing process minimizes errors and the time it takes to set up the equipment. This usually starts with the definition of work coordinate systems that will be used by the machining tool to fabricate this part, which is typically required to associate the characteristics to the proper context. Then, I can add the characteristics that I need to monitor the consistency of the manufacturing process. Here, I will focus on adding the center points of the holes and the midpoint of slabs. And I can do this using the Polyworks PMI Plus Loop tools directly. Being more familiar with Polyworks than with CAD platforms, this simplifies the process for me. The usage experience of these tools is very similar to their counterparts in Polyworks Inspector. And when I think about it, if your case is opposite of mine, this is a very nice introduction to the way these tools work in Polyworks Inspector. And you are building up a new set of skills without even noticing it. With this, I can say with confidence that the control plan is fully defined with design and manufacturing requirements, which makes this part ready to be released. And if any issues are detected when measuring the pieces, we will be able to correct them immediately, this way optimizing the time it takes to troubleshoot the manufacturing process. To prepare inspection projects based on engineering dimensional requirements, I can retrieve the CAD model of the part directly from the PLN system, which is amazing because I have access to the single source of truth without leaving the Polyworks interface. So no standalone files or PLN browsing for me. And not only that, but having a direct connection to the PLM gives me access to all the properties and I can enable the key ones we typically use for traceability and they will be added automatically as these properties in the project. Now, hold tight, because this is just getting better and better. The essence of model-based definition is creating 3D models that contain all the data needed to define a part. Well, thanks to the PMI plus loop control plan embedded into the CAD file, this means that both design and manufacturing dimensional specifications are part of the import operation and fully compatible with the structure of Polyworks Inspector projects. 
the formatted report, including the control views, is also automatically added. And from here, all I need to do is focus on defining how this is going to be measured and generating the measurement sequence steps that will be used by one of my colleagues down at the metrology lab.